Hi guys, I'm back with a quick short um, best hair products of 2011. I've narrowed this down down a great bit just because I don't enjoy <laughs> spending loads of money on hair products, but I have found a couple things that work for me. Now, some things that I don't have that I'm out of, um, which um, I need to get some more of is Clement Biologics Amla and Heavy Cream. I'm currently waiting for their sale. It was supposed to be going on in December and now it's drawn out to who knows when in January. If you know when, please uh, comment below and let me know. I know a lot of you guys do blogs and you have um, information on that. Anyway, that is um, a good um, moisturizer um, for the winter months. And also, as a shampoo, I've been using the Shargon, the Shar, why well, I keep saying it wrong, Shargon, Sh <laughs> I'll leave it below, Shargon Valley Soap, um, the Carrot and Honey Milk uh, Shampoo Bar. And I really like that it was gifted to me by Tasty Redbone. And I've been meaning to try some more of those. I love that one so much. And some Bobine too, but that's not what that's about. So, that is um, one shampoo. And I also love Curl Junkies Daily Fit Fix. Um, it is very, very moisturizing. And it says it's a cleansing hair conditioner. So... I'm just going to leave it on my shampoo list because I don't really put anything in my hair that I need to uh, use sulfates to get out. So, But if I do, um, uh, I'll just use my um, Alba shampoo I have. But for the most part, it's the Chagrin Valley and it's um, Daily Fix. Um, it's very moisturizing. When you take it out of your hair, you really feel like... Um, you just did a co-wash, um, which I guess basically that's what, that's what that is. As conditioners, um, I'm still using my GPB um, uh, Balancing Conditioner by Aubrey Organics when I need a little protein. Um, my trusty, I am out, look at this. <laughs> uh, my Shea Moisture um, Organic African Black Soap Purification Mask. That is my stable. I've used um, high end as well as some other low ends, and it's still the best. And you get um, 12 ounces for $10. Um, I don't think that's too shabby. Um, also, for moisturizers or leave-in, um, I use this Shea Allo, um Leave-In Conditioner by Cores by Nature. Um, I am about right here on it and so it um I, I really like it because a, a lot of different leave-ins um is so liquidy that you have to use so much and um y'all know i got this uh oh, um you see the consistency it's not thin it's very creamy like lotion but um uh, it's not liquidy at all, and I really, really like it. I received it um, right before Black Friday sales, and I think I've been using it every day since then, so I think that's a pretty good amount to have after using it, but it is kind of pricey at, um, I think it's $22 um, for this bottle, but I actually paid 10 so... I said catch it on the sale if you want to try it. Um, look at this. And for um, another moisturizer I use is Donna Marie's um, Buttercream. I really love this. I try to, I've been trying to, it smells like cake, cake better, looks like that. I've been trying to really um, hold out on using so much, um, which because my hair isn't so thick and coarse, I don't really have to use a lot. But um, 
I'm really loving that. For stylers, I've basically just been using the Dream, the Donna Marie Dream Curling Cream. Now, I think this is a very good buy. I mean, I know a lot of people don't like shopping online and buying the pricey items, but this is 16 ounces. If I'm not mistaken, I think it's $18 for 16 ounces. And I've had this. How long have I had this? I don't know. For some months. And that's all I've used. A little bit goes a long way with this. Um, it has a bit of a, a, a soft hold. Now, with this, I have noticed after a couple of days, my hair will start to get little bitty white flakes in it. But that doesn't bother me only because... Um, my wash and goes don't last that long anyway. So by the time I start to see the flakes, it's time to wash it anyway. Um, but that's just a uh, caution to you guys. Um, also, um, as finishers, um, I like this Curls in a Bottle um, by Curl Junkie. Um, if you can see, I have this much left. And I've had this uh, for a long time as well. Um, I bought... The Donna Marie and the curl, uh, curls in the bottle all at the same time doing that as you sell. So, I know at least three months I've had it. And this curl keeper, now, it is very much time to re-up on this. If I had to choose between the curl keeper and the curls in the bottle, both of them are pretty pricey, but I think I'll go for the curls in the bottle just because I can use the curls in the bottle as a styler as well. It has a bit more of a hold or control, um, you could say, than the curls in the bottle, which is mainly a finisher. And, um, yeah, that's it for me, guys. I, this was uh, um, very quick, very short. And I know, like I said, I've been using a lot of um, stuff that you can buy in the store, and I just wasn't getting results I wanted, so I just started to branch out and try to check out different items that weren't necessarily too pricey, and um, yeah, i just been rotating, so I won't run out into the next sale, but yeah, guys, that's it, and I'll talk to you guys later.